Action News. I'm your host, Kat, and breaking news just in, Alana's just found a genie bottle. Let's go see what she wishes for. Finally, a genie bottle. I can finally get what I've always wanted. I am the great genie from the bottle. I am here to help make your wish come true. Fantastic! I wish to be the greatest artist alive. What a great wish. What can we do to make it happen? Great, powerful genie, make me the greatest artist alive. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not how this works. I'm here to help you make your wish come true. But you're a genie. Now make my wish happen. You can't tell someone to make your wishes come true. Only you can do that. I'm here to help you make it come true. And how can I do that? By the WHOOP method! What's that? WHOOP. W stands for wish. O stands for outcome. O stands for obstacles. And P stands for plan. WHOOP. Well, how do I manage to do that? First, you know what you're wishing. Well, yeah, my wish is to become the greatest artist. And now we think about what your outcome you want to see. Well, I know I want to do it, but I just don't know if I can achieve it. Well, first off, we need to be positive. Being negative does not help make our plans come true. And we need to remember to have a realistic goal because I might want to be an elephant, but I'm never going to be one. So what could you do to make it more obtainable? Well, maybe I should be a professional artist. There you go. That's much more obtainable. So now, to continue to work on this, we have to go and think about the obstacles you'll face. But you just said to be positive. Yes. Thinking about your obstacles doesn't have to be negative. Only you can allow your obstacles to be negative by using them to stop you. Knowing what your obstacles are can help you know what you're working with and how to work with them so that you can get on a good start to planning to get towards the wish that you want to have for yourself. That's true. Well, I guess an obstacle would be I don't have the art supplies I want to actually do what I want to do. And I also just don't have the time either. So let's challenge these obstacles. First off, do you have to have special art supplies? Well, no. But I want them. Wanting something and needing something are two totally different things. So remember, you don't have to have it. So could do you use something else? Yeah, I can use paper and pencil. Obstacle busted. Now, obstacle number two. You say you don't have enough time. Could you make time for doing your art? Well, I guess I could always find time in my day to do it. Exactly. Now, what about, how do you feel about your art skill? Do you think it needs some more practice? Yeah, but I can't afford classes. But you know what? I could definitely watch YouTube tutorials. That is working with your obstacles. I've actually heard that Art with Alanis on the Remix YouTube channel is a great one. You should try that out. Now, when are you going to work on your skills? Um, I guess whenever I have time in the day. So I think you need a little bit more of a, a plan to know when you're going to do this. Having a plan or setting a challenge of when you need to get things done of what you want to achieve is really helpful and keeps you accountable. Can you set a, a date or a time frame that you want to complete a challenge for yourself? My school is having an art show. I can def and I want to be in it, so I can probably work towards that. Great. I think that if you work on it and you want to be there, it'll make you strive to be good at your art so you can be in that show. But remember, you are in control of what you want in your life and you can make your dreams come true. Thanks, Jeannie. I'm going to go work on my art now. Woo! Woo! There it is! 
feels like her dreams and wishes are never gonna come true. But if we work really hard like Alana's did, then they're a lot closer than you think. So remember, don't wish for it, work for it. And whoop, there it'll be.